Hello and welcome back to the allotment, welcome back to my channel. It is a glorious sunny day today, it's actually a Friday today and I don't tend to come up to the allotment plot on uh, Friday. But I've just had news that there is a storm coming tomorrow called Storm Burt and it's going to hit parts of London. It's going to be raining here definitely but there's going to be a lot of wind so I wanted just to pop down and check that my poly tunnel, my mini poly tunnel especially was just secured down and make sure that there was nothing on the plot that could do any damages if it is really really windy. And I'm just going to have a little check up on things while I'm here as well. So the purple sprouting broccoli is actually looking really good. It's put on quite a bit of growth since I planted it. This one especially, um, and the ones along the back, the other ones are still looking really good. So I'm really pleased with that. My garlic has started coming up in here. There are some weed seedlings, as you can see. I'm just gonna pull them out. I don't wanna get a hoe in here because there's a lot of garlic coming up, but just as I see the few little weed seeds on the grass. I'm just going to pull them up as I see them. Just as and when I find best. So the mini poly tunnel looks absolutely fine. It doesn't need water. So I'm just going to close that down and I'm going to show you how I secure that. So in my shed, I have got these supports and I actually use one of these. So I'm going to show you how I use this to secure my mini poly tunnel down. So I just hook that over the handles and push that really down into the ground and that is so secure now. I did that last year and it worked absolutely perfectly. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My big poly tunnel has got so many weed seedlings in between all the winter veg that I planted. But I'm quite reluctant to hoe it just because the garlic hasn't come up yet. I've only just planted that last week. So I think I might just leave that. I really don't want to disturb any of the garlic coming up. And then when that starts to come up, hopefully next week, I can just hoe around it a bit, but I'm just going to leave that for today. It's nice and dry in here anyway, and nothing looks like it needs water in. So I'm going to make sure the poly tunnel is now secure. So I just want to make sure that these are in the holes at the bottom, which they are and then just that, that is nice and secure which it is so i'm quite happy with that and i'll just do the other side make sure and just make sure that is nice and secure again and i'm happy with that going to make sure my shed is padlocked okay I've had a little look around and everything looks nice and secure there isn't anything that looks like it could be you know like taken up with any wind or anything on my plot so I'm quite happy to leave this now but that only took me about 10 minutes but it was so worth doing I'll be back down here Monday so I will see you then so welcome to my greenhouse so it's actually the Thursday after I filmed last Friday so it's actually six days since I last filmed I've been absolutely full of a cold you can probably still hear that I'm still quite poorly but I'm up and about and I'm ready to check on things I haven't been down to the plot and I haven't even been in my greenhouse because I've been so unwell so I've just come out here now just to check on things so I've got my red onions here and they're looking absolutely fine. I've got my white onions here, they look fine as well. I can't believe I actually left two of my chilli plants in the greenhouse. They actually look okay, so I might just bring them inside. I was going to put them on my kitchen windowsill 
and I just didn't. They got left behind, so I'm definitely going to be moving them. But they actually look okay. They've survived the frost that we've been having. You can still see the frost on the windows of the greenhouse. It's been so, so cold. And over here, I've just got some lettuce and things that I'd started. They all look okay. They don't look too bad. So I think all in all, it's worked out okay. So now I've checked on the greenhouse and everything's absolutely fine. I'm going to take a walk down to the plot. I feel like I need some fresh air. So I'm going to take in some nice fresh air on the way to the plot. But one thing I did notice that I'm quite shocked about is that my daffodils are coming up. So it's the 28th of November and I've got daffodils coming out. So I don't know, is that normal? That's my question of the day. Is it normal time for daffodils to come out in November? So the sun is behind me so you probably can't see me very well so I won't say too much on the walk but it's been really nice to get out and get some fresh air because the last week I've been feeling so ill I can't wait to get down here it's been nearly a week since I've been down here so I really hope everything's doing okay I'm sure it's been fine and I'm sure it survived the storm last week so it was Saturday and Sunday we had so much rain and wind it was storm burnt and I know a lot of other places in the country had it really badly. We had really high winds and a lot of rain. We actually had a lot of rain two days ago overnight as well. It's just really, really frosty. If I spin you round, I think you can probably see on the grass there the, where the sun hasn't hit it yet. It's really, really frosty and it's midday. It's quite late in the day to still have quite a frost. It's very cold. But nonetheless, I can't wait to get down here and see how everything is. I'm sure everything's fine. And it's just good to be outside. I've bought some tea, so I'm not gonna be doing any heavy lifting today. I can tell you that for free. I'm just gonna be having a look. I might do a few things that are light work, but I'm definitely gonna enjoy this and just enjoy being down there, I think. everything is looking absolutely fine nothing seems to be damaged at all which is really good and everything seems to be looking great so the polytunnel all the veg that I've planted is looking absolutely fine which is great I can't see any garlic coming up at the moment I don't think oh here we go we've got some garlic coming up here so once that all comes up I'm going to hoe this like I said last week but until I can see where the garlic is actually coming up I'll wait and do that this side I can't see any coming oh no there we go I can see a little one coming up there there doesn't seem to be as many weeds this side but this side I haven't oh, I don't know why this side doesn't seem to have as many weed seedlings coming up as this side for some reason so I'm not sure why that is in fact I probably could just hoe around around where I know the garlic would be coming um, as long as I don't hit anywhere where it's coming up I might be able to be just at least get some of it up so that you know they don't grow too much this side 
there's hardly any garlic come up in this area whereas like down here a little bit further on a lot of garlics come up so I'm not quite sure why that is but I can see some of it's coming up a bit smaller here oh and look at this little culprit this little slug that's the first one I've actually seen in here so yeah I think I'm going to attempt to hoe that's not too strenuous I'm going to hoe in here just going to check around the back as well ah okay so we've got a little bit of things that have been blown over but that's not too bad so it's just one of the bins has come over but that hasn't got anything in it so I'm actually not surprised that that got blown over we check on the compost while we're here I did a couple of weeks ago let's have a look that is looking good that's really dropped down as well which is good you can see some little bugs in there I'm very pleased with that okay so everything's looking good so I'm going to use my hoe in the polytunnel that's not too strenuous I can definitely handle that then I think I'm going to give it a good water in there as well So everything turned out absolutely fine there was no damage apart from the compost bins being tipped over which I can live with so I've given it a quick hoe between all the veg in the polytunnel I've given it good water I'm absolutely exhausted I think it's probably because I have been so unwell so it's been a lot for me just walking down here and doing those small things I'm actually going to sit here with my cup of tea and just enjoy the sunshine for half an hour enjoy the fresh air Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again next week.